When probing for a waveform, we have several options on what probe we want to use. Up under the channel properties menu, you'll see the probes. Here we're on the times one probe. Under the times one probe, you'll see the options of going with an auto set, or we can go down to as low as plus or minus 50 millivolts, or as high as 100 volts. Notice when I choose 100 volts, what happens to the pattern? It gets really tiny because I am working into a 5 volt range and we're only putting out approximately 3 volts on that voltage spike. If I choose something like a 2 volts, you'll notice that we get this over range message right here because that voltage spike is greater than 2 volts. If we need to measure something greater than 100 volts, PICO provides us with something called an attenuator. Now an attenuator is like a multiplier. We have a 10 to 1 attenuator and a 21 attenuator. So if I choose a 20 to 1 attenuator, first of all you'll notice that we're no longer getting that over voltage range because the scale has moved to a minus 25 or plus 100 volts here. Now a 20 to 1 attenuator will allow us to go up to 400 volts. So a minus 100 and a maximum of 400 volts. Notice when I choose that much larger scale how small the pattern gets. One other probe that you might use as an automotive technician or a transmission technician would be a pressure gauge or a pressure transducer. So instead of the attenuator we would come over here and we have the Pico WPS 500X and there's actually three different ranges to it. There is also a WPS 600 which is a higher pressure range typically used for diesels. Now if you choose the range 1 it has to do with the capabilities of how much it can measure. So as you can see here the maximum measurement is a minus 55 to up to 500 pounds per square inch. You can also go down to a minimum of 100 pounds per square inch. Now, if we choose range 2, you'll find out that range 2 has a smaller capabilities. Range 2 has a maximum of 50 pounds per square inch. And range 3 has an even smaller range. Range 3 has a maximum of only 5 psi. The B channel here is measuring the current of an injector. However, we are on a voltage scale a positive 200 millivolts and a negative 200 millivolts. If we would like to measure this in amperage, we're going to have to come down here and choose the amp probe. Now here we're on a 20 amp probe and we can choose the auto and we're on a plus or minus 2 amp scale. Now if we go down less than 2 amps, such as 1 amp, Again, you are going to see the overrange scale here. The 2 amp is the correct scale for measuring this value. However, we can go as high as 20 amps, which gives me 20 amps here and a minus 5 over here. The B channel is represented here on the left hand side. However, if we turn on the A channel, You'll notice that the B channel values move to the right hand side of the screen and the A channel is on the left hand side of the screen. 